Hey guys, just arriving at Dave's for a ride on our commandos today. You don't have an LED headlight, do you? No, it's a halogen, actually. Oh, it is? Yeah. Wow, I can barely see it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Huh. And then Mike's got the LED, which blinds you. Mm -hmm. Now, are you negative or positive trail? It's still positive. Okay. quality as you can see is very good the sound quality not so much yeah unfortunately I've had to turn the sound down on these clips because the wind noise was so bad I'll need to work on that I bought a wind sock which is essentially a, a cover that goes around the camera and we'll see if that improves it but it's just a process of elimination trying to get the overall sound quality on the bike much better without that awful wind noise a really nice coffee we're in the willamette valley here in oregon it's northwest oregon uh, just southwest of portland it's famous for growing hops and some vineyards as well we have quite a few vineyards and uh, not too many twisty roads but just great open roads with very little traffic so it's a lot of fun especially for the commandos they love this kind of road Anyway, thanks as always for your comments. I hope you've been enjoying the videos, especially those from the cul-de-sac. Wasn't that a great visit by Tom and his 69 Bonneville? I hope you enjoyed it. That was just a brilliant bike. I have a couple more surprises, in particular the Sunday visit. I hope you won't miss that because it's going to be great. 
And now that some of the restrictions are lifting a little bit, we might find ourselves venturing out of the cul-de-sac and visiting with some friends and club members to talk about their bikes in their own garages, talk about some of their projects as well. It should be a lot of fun. There are some bikes that just aren't on the road at the moment, um, but that's no excuse to see them and go and take a look and see what the owners are doing with their projects.